Hey, what's up, Internet? Chef Plum back with you here at beautiful Butcher's Best Country Market in Newtown, Connecticut. And thanks for checking out Plum Love Foods again. I really appreciate it. Make sure you uh, leave a comment, say something terrible about me, comment about my pointy hair, whatever gets you through the day. I love reading them, and it's, it's really helpful to me. So, guys, what I'm going to show you today is something really cool, super simple, super cool, and absolutely fantastic. And we're going to marinate a pork tenderloin. There's nothing better than pork tenderloin. Pork tenderloin is super tender, and it's so easy to cook. It's so easy. Everybody do it. Go get a pork tenderloin right now. I'll wait. Go. You got one? Perfect. This is a pork tenderloin. I've cut mine in half, and then I'm actually going to take it, and I'm going to cut it into a couple smaller pieces, kind of like little filet mignons, just like that. We're going to just do a couple slices, nice little pieces. Just, it, it, it's easy, and they're super tender. You can already tell. And the thing that makes them so good is that they are so tender, it's like a sponge. It just absorbs stuff. So we've got our sliced pork tenderloin here. And what we're going to make is an awesome rockin' marinade. It's super simple. I'm going to add a little bit of mustard, about a tablespoon of mustard to this bowl, about a tablespoon. Now, we're going to take some fresh sage. I'm just going to tear it with my fingers. I'm not going to try to slice this up. Um, I think with herbs like this, it's easier just to tear them. Um, if you start slicing them, you can bruise them. When you tear them, you can be a little bit more gentle with it. And it certainly looks really cool on the actual piece of meat. I'm going to take a pinch of dry thyme. When you use dry thyme or dry um, anything, I want you to smash it in your fingers. That releases the natural oils. And if you don't believe me, put some in your hand and smell it without smashing it like this. It's kind of strong, but after you smash it in your fingers, dude, all the difference in the world. The flavors really come out. Now, we're going to kick it up a little bit. We're going to add a couple pinches of red uh, chili flakes to it. I've got a clove of garlic here. Of course I have garlic. We're going to smash it. And now I'm going to run the knife through it a few times. And we're just going to slide it right back into our marinade here. I'm going to add a little bit of oil, just a touch. Now, we're going to mix this up. Take our tongs, just give it a nice little mix around. Kind of get everything incorporated together nice and happy. And I almost forgot the most important thing, salt and pepper. If you don't season your food with salt and pepper, you just already look like you don't know what you're doing like I just did. So we're going to grab a pinch, salt and pepper, mix that in there. Beautiful. I'm going to take our four medallions here, put them in the bowl, and I'm going to take these hands, the best mixers in the world, and toss these around just like that. Nice and tossed around. Beautiful. Now, I would let that sit for at least an hour. Let those flavors get in there. Check it out. Let those flavors get in there. Let them get into the meat. Let that spongy pork tenderloin absorb that. And it's going to be one of the best pieces of pork tenderloin you've ever had. And the marinade is absolutely phenomenal. And how easy is that? It was a couple things, things that are probably around the house. Go to the store, get a pork tenderloin, do this today. Tell me how you came out. Tell me how great it was. Take a picture of it. I'm Chef Plum with Plum Love Foods here at Butcher's Best Country Market in Newtown, Connecticut. Thanks a lot for joining me. I'm going to see if I can hold off before cooking these. I'll see you later.